this video, I'm going to walk you through how you can find some popular YouTube topics that you can create videos about that people are actually searching for so that when you create the video, it ranks high in YouTube and you get more views and subscribers as a result. So let me give you a couple tips on how I do this. So when you're in YouTube here, one way is just to use the autofill. So you can come up here and you can put something like marketing tips. And now I can see marketing tips for roofers marketing tips for contractors. I can see all these different ideas. Now, another thing that you can do is put like an underscore space in front of it. Now it's gonna show me a bunch of different things people are searching for like Facebook marketing tips, Instagram marketing tips, where it's putting the phrase marketing tips at the end. So when you use the underscore space, it's putting marketing tips at the end and showing you all the things that people search with words before that. And then of course, if you remove that, you'll see it if it's at the beginning, marketing tips, for roofers, for example. And so this is a great way where you can go through here and you can find a bunch of ideas. You can write those things down. The reason this autofill is showing these ideas are because people are actually searching those things. So these are the high searched items. Now I can try different types of terms here. So now I might want to do like digital advertising, let's say. So now I can see digital advertising business, digital advertising 101, digital advertising agency, I can see all these different terms. Now, if I go over here, do underscore space, now I'm seeing how to start a digital advertising agency, right? Best digital advertising campaign. So it's giving me more and more ideas. So you can go through here and try all the different keywords and phrases relevant to your particular business and use the underscore before, and then also take note of what is after the term that you're putting in there and just write all those ideas down. These are all gonna be great ideas you can create topics about. Now, another new tool that YouTube just most recently released is actually on the back end in the studio. So if you go into your channel and then go to the back end studio and then come down here to analytics, click on that and then click on this research tab. Research tab is going to be where you can actually research from the back end topics. So right from here, I can come in here and I can do marketing tips from here from here. So now I can come through here, social media marketing tips. If I like that one, I can tag it digital marketing tips. Let me just tag some of these. As you're tagging these, it's actually adding these over here to the saved column. So that's another way you can come in the back end, use this research tool, and you can just go and research various ideas. And so you can just come through here and just use all these different search phrases and terms for the things that you do as a business and just start tagging stuff. It'll put it into your save column. Now these are all a bunch of ideas that you can tackle. As you complete those ideas, you can just untag it and it's gone, right? You don't need to to, uh, to keep it there if you don't want it to, if you just want this to be kind of like a task list of videos that you wanna create, that would be how you would do that. Now, another thing that's cool, you can come here and do your viewers searches, and this is gonna show things that your viewers are also searching. So I'm here on the Marketing 360 channel on the back end. So of course, I'm seeing things like marketing, e-commerce, small business, social media. That's like our, top, our type of audience and the type of content that we're consistently creating. So of course, our audience is searching for these types of things on YouTube. The thing that's cool here is it doesn't have to necessarily be your subscriber. It's just anybody that's watched your video, anybody who's viewed it at some point, they're now on YouTube searching other stuff. And so you see the types of things that they're searching for. This might give you other ideas like email marketing. So maybe I should search for terms around that. E-commerce, I should search for terms around that and just get more and more ideas. And so going through this process, you can have a really long list of saved ideas here, plus anything that you noted from what I previously showed you about the autofill and probably easily be able to round up a hundred plus ideas of video topics. Now, when you create your video, make sure that this is exactly the title of your video. So if I was gonna do this topic here, I would make sure that in my topic, in my title of my video, I would say social media marketing tips. Now you can add to that. So I might say social media marketing tips for small business, or maybe social media marketing tips five quick ideas. I can You can tweak it that way, but make sure that that exact phrase lives within the title of your video, then put it in the description of your video, put it in the tags of your video. By doing those things, as you create these videos over time, you're gonna rank higher and higher in YouTube. When people are searching those things in YouTube, they're gonna see your video, they're gonna watch it. Hopefully they like it and they subscribe. Thanks for watching. Hopefully this video was helpful and you found some good ideas here. You can leverage if there's other ideas 
ideas that you have, throw it in the comments, like the video if you like it, share it with your friends, and follow us for more content like this down the road. Happy marketing.